Hi everyone, this is Mike again of Classic VGM for my, I believe my seventh unboxing. Um, well, actually, it's an envelope. Again. Um, be honest, I don't know what's in this. <laughs> it came in the mail today and my wife handed it to me and I don't recall. Lapse of memory? I don't know, but I, I, I said, what the heck, let's do a, an unboxing and find out together. Hmm. I did get a Sega CD recently. Maybe I bought, I think I might have bought some games. I don't know. It's been one of those days. So, Well, anyways, we'll make this one a quickie, right? Got the tool. Got the package. That's in the background. All right, well, usually I have a, a story to go along with the package, but not this time. So let's just kind of dig right in, right? Hopefully I uh, don't break anything here. All right. Got here. Maybe, huh. Ah, alrighty. Sega CD games. Oh, I remember. Bought these a while ago, I believe. Oh, Final Fight. Pretty much arcade perfect. Let's see what else we have. Oh, Revenge of the Ninja. Keyson doesn't look like it's in very good shape, though. Look better than the script in the eBay auction. So I remember getting it from eBay. And the disc looked pretty good, but um, this was like Dragon's Lair. Let's see. Hmm, alright, what else? Ha! Ah. Here we go. Excuse me. Road Avenger. <laughs> Another one that was like Dragon's Lair, but I remember enjoying this one. Some of the, um, I'm not really big on full motion video games. Uh, the game I really was after was Final Fight, but these were included. I mean, I think I paid like a total of like $4 for the whole thing. In fact, uh, Give me one quick second. Hello, my browser. Yeah, um, yep. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I was really interested in Final Fight, but, you know, these were included. But I do remember playing this when the Sega CD first came out, and this year wasn't too bad. I mean, you know, I, I do like Dragon's Lair and Space Ace, but I wasn't a real big fan of all the other promotion video games that pretty much suffocated the Sega CD's library. You know, they're pretty, you know, they're all pretty much linear, you know, but Space Ace and Dragon's Lair were classics. You know, they were at the time innovative in the sense that they were different, you know. But this here, you, you're, you know, you had multiple um, paths you could take and so forth. So it wasn't that bad, you know. You know, you also have the choice of having on-screen cues to show you where to go. Or you could turn that off. So the game was actually kind of challenging in a way. So, you know, it wasn't too bad. Um, what else we have in here? Hmm. I remember there being about three games. Well, what the? Hmm. Well, apparently he decided to throw me in a freebie. We ready? I don't know if I'll ever put this in my Sega CD. Crisscross. Take a video. Uh, I think Marky Mark uh, and the Funky Bunch probably would have been a better choice. But hey, <laughs> you know, all things considered. But hey, it was free. Make my video. 
This is in pretty good shape. Not bad. According to the uh, the auction listing here, um, yeah, it was only three games. So I guess he decided to include something else that was nice and probably couldn't sell it. So, ah. well, anyways, um, there you go. So that's another uh, unboxing video that I'd share that with, uh, with everyone. Um, thank you for your subscriptions, uh, for your comments, and your private messages. Um, expect more uh, video game footage uh, soon. And um, as always, game on.